Ich Mehr Munition. Munition, hier! Oh, I limped at him and he limped at me. Hi guys, it's Matthias coming at you here with another Battlefield 1 video. This one is about the new game mode Shock Operations. Yes, there was recently a game update and one of the things that was added was this game mode. It's a variation of Operations. Now, personally, I don't have that much to say about the differences between this, uh, this new uh, Operations game mode and the old one because normally I just play Conquest. However, the intended change from the original operations is not hard to notice. Shock operations is just faster. Basically, it's supposed to be a fast-paced version of operations and, well, I guess that's what it is. Now, from time to time, or well, actually quite rarely, I have explained a little bit more specifically why I don't play operations. I would like to try to do that again and hopefully doing so without offending anyone. This is not in any way meant to be condescending or demeaning to people that like operations. It's just my personal view of it. And I think that operations, it just feels like a, a light version of a Battlefield 1. It just feel, It just doesn't feel like a real Battlefield. And the reason why I'm saying that is that it, it seems like a simplified way of playing Battlefield compared to Conquest. Now, keep in mind, I'm not saying that this is a fact, I'm saying that's how I experience it. So what it is, is just a matter of personal opinion. Now, the reason why I think so is that the obvious thing is that one team is attacking from one direction, the other team is defending from the opposite direction, and even though there are possibilities for flanks and uh, interesting strategies, those strategies and flanks are quite a bit more limited in this game mode compared to Conquest. I've also come to realize that when I play operations, whether it's this one or uh, the original operations, I get a much, much better score. And because of that, I've started to feel like this is more of a stats padding game mode, where at least for me, I get a higher kills per minute, I get higher KD, blah, 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 everything like that, better score per minute. And it feels like there would be a reason why a lot of people would like it. But obviously, again, I'm not saying that in a condescending way, or I'm not saying that it is so, it's just the way I experience it and why I play Conquest. Now, in the Battlefield 1 community, there is a lot happening right now, and of course, this update included, but an even bigger thing is the Battlefield 5 closed alpha, and I will participate in it by the time that you're watching it, I am, might actually be streaming it live on my Twitch channel and I will definitely be covering Battlefield 5 Closed Alpha on both my YouTube channels. Now this update also added some guns, some new guns, and you may have already seen the pistol, I'm not sure if it's been seen in this video yet. It's a silenced M1911, so it's not all that exciting, but what is probably more exciting is the Burton LMR. Now, this weapon is a new weapon for the support class, it's a light machine gun, and what is specific about it is that it has a secondary fire mode that shoots incendiary ammo, and this ammo is designed to disable planes. Now, I've used it a little bit, but not enough to make an entire video of it, but it uh, will be coming shortly, I can assure you. So, what did you think about the latest update? Was there something specific about it that you really liked? Was there something about it that you really didn't like? Was there something that should have been added or fixed that uh, was not included? Personally, I didn't see anything all that exciting. Uh, like I said, the new operations mode isn't really for me. The new weapons were not all that exciting to me either. And whatever bug fixes they fixed, I read through it, were not the bugs that I think were the most important to fix. As a matter of fact, I didn't even know about most of these bugs at all. So now, despite the fact that I'm normally not that fond of operations, it was a bit of fun to try out shock operations, if not for any other reasons, at least just to try something new, or, well, something that I normally just don't play, because, to me, it's, it's still operations. It's still, yes, it's a different version of operations, but it is still operations. And the difference was not that big that it makes a difference to what I think about operations or shock operations. I still have the same opinion about it, and I will still stick to conquest. 
Now maybe there is something about this game mode that I don't really know about yet that makes me go back and check it out again. But for now, I didn't see this change or alteration of operations being enough for me to change my mind about it. Anyway, I hope you will enjoy the rest of the video. My name is Matthias, and I want to thank you all for watching. <laughs> Look at my shiny sword. I feel powerful. No. <laughs> oh, this is this is ridiculous. They may have learned to fight in the winter, but we were born into it. Who said I'm a limpet addict? Who said that? I'm not. I can stop whenever I want. The final objective is within our reach. Ammo's got your name on it. Oh my god, so bad. Ammo. 
for you. Let me fucking reload! It's a bit nuts here. I got the reload. Now, finally. Getting a reload with this weapon is like half a victory. Did we win? We have failed, soldiers. Uh, what? Today, Britain bowed.